What is up, my guys? I do welcome to my channel. It's your boy, and I'm back again, guys. So today we have got Supreme news. Supreme is back, guys. It's back for autumn, winter time. So we're looking at the lookbook, and we'll talk about the clothing pieces. Then I'll also make a separate video which will speak about the accessories and things that we can look forward to towards Christmas time. Without any further ado, guys, I will look at the Instagram pictures from Supreme New York's official Instagram account. So bear with me there. And also, guys, make sure you subscribe as well. And here we are. So Batman, as you guys can see there, you've got that model there wearing that Gore-Tex camouflage um, jacket, if you will, or Parker jacket, better yet, more specifically. Then you've also got this, like, it's like a bulletproof vest, but it's not made of Kevlar. It's that kind of impression, and it's got the box logo as well. With the little side pockets, I do like this look. It's got that New York vibe about it. And then as we swipe as well, you guys can see that model there. It's also got that beanie hat, finished off with the lovely denim style. Um, but you can tell like, on the inside of that denim style jacket, it's lined with a thick coating, which helps keep people warm i love the color as well it's got, that, it's got that retro vibe about it then you've got those pants as well which you know we've known the material from the bomber jacket so i like how they've made the bottoms as well that looks nice the way that he's dressed looks nice and fresh and different you can tell also with the with the trousers or the pants they've got some zippers as well on the sides on the inside on the sides that's nice to see as well then you've also got this denim um, it's like a, a zip-up hoodie jacket and you can tell it's got the thick stitching which you know we know from replay jeans I love this it's different it's just out there it's not you know what you expect to see every single day I think I prefer this maybe in black I think that'll be a better finish because black looks better but nonetheless it's nice I like how it's got the washed effect as well that's good to see then you've also got the cardigan as well which I'm not really fond of. Then you've also got the bomber trousers, which are in black this time. I think I prefer the green ones that we saw before. Still nice nonetheless. Then you've got that. That's like a, um, that's like a, um, kind of a cardigan, but it's made of knitwear. That's nice to see this as well. It's got the box log on the back. Then it's got the New York. Then it's got the original phone number, I think. The jeans, not really my cup of cake, but I can see why other people might like it. So what we'll do is we'll come off there. Then we'll come to this. So Lil Uzi got the devil tattoo on the front of his chest. I'm not a devil worshiper. So as a Christian, I will refrain from commenting on this and just swipe from right to left. Each to their own. If you do that thing, that's your business. I'm not here to tell you what to do. But you've got this denim set as well, worn by that metal. What about that model? Metal. <laughs> what about that model? It's not for me. It's kind of out there. It's got that vintage look about it. And something which is quite trendy nowadays. Um, the trousers are not bad. I think I might rock the trousers. But the top is just like, yeah, it's a little bit too rich for me. Then you've got this beautiful leather jacket, which is going to be quite expensive. This reminds me of back in the days. The days of, um, used to have um, the Averyx jackets. Then they started making some more expensive jackets as well um, out of New York. I think, what were they called? I forget the name. You know, I'm based in the UK, but I remember. And this is reminiscent of that as well. And I do love this jacket. I can probably like wear this with maybe some uh, some white pants. Not even white, but like some off-white kind of like ivory pants. Wear some white Air Force Ones, you know, just look nice and clean. It's one of those jackets that you can wear for like a music video, for like a baller video, where you're like in a white Maybach or a white G-Wagon. Do you know what I mean? Looking fresh. I love it. I think if I was to buy it, I'd probably like just not wear it. And just, there's no point in that, to be honest. Maybe the black one I think would be nice, but looking at the details, though, as you guys can see there, you've got to respect the craft. This is worth at least a thousand pounds, even two thousand pounds easily. You've got to respect the craft as well. Then you've got this, which I do love. I shouldn't love this, but I do love it. It's got the Christmas vibes with the red at the top. Then you've got the black as well. Just the way he's wearing everything together, the whole outfit just is doing bits, man. Do you know what I mean? It's doing bits. I love it. So far, I'm, I'm quite impressed. Then you've got this as well, which is like different um, patches that have been put together. Then you've got Supreme 
across the chest that comes in that denim material. I can see where they're going with this and I can see certain people getting pulled to watch this. So fair play. You know, it's just not for me, but hey, different strokes with different folks. Then you got this jacket as well, which I'd prefer as black. The brown's all right, but not really the best, to be honest. It looks warm. It looks comfortable. You know, it's like one of those durable jackets that will last you forever. And you got this one as well, which says what it says. You know, uh, when you're a pirate, you can teach a good things or bad things. <laughs> hey, clearly it's saying a lot of bad things. Then you got the bomber jacket as well, which is coming back in fashion. But I'm not quite sure because this one's lined with that red um, flisk. Oh, actually, it's like um, teddy bear material. So it's got that red teddy bear material. I'm not quite sure about that. I think the bomber jacket on its own would look nice, but with the extra little bits, not quite sure. I do like the jeans that he's wearing though. Then you got this as well. Um, now, as a Christian, I don't really like to, you know, um, to see people like, you know, depict Jesus Christ on a cross. And they've done this as well. And I think it's just like, there's no need for that, you know. So I will not comment on this. I'll refrain from commenting and keep it moving. All right, so you've got the leather suit, which is so 1990s. It's like, you know, the late 90s, 98, 99, PDD, Jay-Z, they used to wear this sort of stuff. And I don't know if he's got a place, you know, in this modern times. I know Kanye brought back the leather pants back in 2010, 2011, the days of Givenchy and, you know, that song, which they performed at the Victoria uh, Secret Runway. I will not say the word, but yeah, it says in Paris. Is it relevant this, you know, in this climate right now, fashion wise? I don't know. You guys decide. Then you've got this as well. I do love this in a different color. It looks warm, but at the same time, I'm scared that the material might just like tear so easily. It's, n but then again, it's Gore Tex, so. You know, I'd love to see this in a different color. I'd love for it to have that shiny-esque glossy finish. It's not really glossy. It's kind of like um, that reflective wrap material. I like how puffy it is. It looks warm, ready for New York, snow, weather. I like how on the back, because you've got Supreme and the Gore-Tex as well. I like how the pockets are puffed as well. I do like this as well. So, this model here is wearing this, like... Um, it's kind of giving me like um, fake fur, you know, um, which is kind of um, finished off in that like shiny um, look. And I like it. It's kind of like giving me like vintage vibes, like, you know, the late 80s vibes. I like it. I shouldn't like it, but I do like it. If I was to wear this, I'd wear this with maybe some tanned pants and maybe some black dunks or black air forces. That's how I would wear it myself personally. But it goes, as you guys can see, the person's wearing a do-rack as well as some dark blue pants. So it does go with that as well. You know, it looks nice and different. Uh, then you've got this skull top as well. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one, guys. Yeah. Maybe it's just the colour, but I'm not really a fan of skull things, you know. Then you've got this um, jacket as well, which has got a zip in the middle. It's got a two, well, a three-tone colourway to it. Not really a fan of it, but it's nice to see that the ballads are back for Supreme. Then you've got the long leather jacket, which I'm not really a fan of. As I say, they haven't got a place in today's fashion, but who am I? In New York fashion, is different. Then you've got this, I love this graphic, animated graphic um, leather jacket. I love this. I love this so much. I shouldn't love it, but I do. Even the cap as well. The cap looks nice as well. I love this. It's doing bits. Then you've got the tracksuit as well, which is, you know, it's simple, nothing special. Then you've got this, I like this, this is baller. This is so baller. I'd love this in a different color though. I'd prefer it maybe in a, in a brown. So if it's got brown, then obviously you've got the black pattern there. Then you've got the, um, the fur, you know, on either side of the collar. Then I'd probably like wear like a Russian hat. I'd wear like a Russian hat with this, some big glasses, you know, and I'll just look baller. But otherwise, I like it. The way he's gone about wearing the outfit together and piecing it together is wrong. He's wore the wrong pieces, but yeah, I do love this. 
Then this as well, I do love the way he's dressed as well. No complaints. Winter time, you want to go to college or university, put an outfit together. That's how typical students dress. That's how I dress as well, even though I'm not a student. I like it, it's trendy. The colors go well together. Sometimes you ain't got to just wear uniform colors. You've got to wear colors that are a little bit different. But you know, when you look at them all together, it kind of makes sense. Then you got this as well. It's kind of like, well, actually, so this jacket is uh, got two different sides. So you can wear it either way. So on this side over here, as you guys can see, he's wearing this on the inside, which is the tartan part. Again, either way, I'm not really bothered. It still looks nice. And then I believe that's just like, um, what's his name? That's just uh, Andre, Andre 3000. So that's the back of the jacket that I showed you before. So it's got that street there. It looks nice. It's got the box log as well. It just makes sense. It's just giving me some cool vibes. And guys, so what do I think about this collection? I think it's a lot better compared to last year. Now, um, the new the new director for the for Supreme, he hasn't, I think, um, um, he hasn't like um, had a chance to do the entire collection by himself. I think as time goes on, he'll be able to do his full collection. So we will see that in the springtime, you know, when Supreme released the spring collection, his potential or, you know, just his talent, basically. There's been a lot of hype about him, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what he does with Supreme. But so far, I think, you know, um, whatever influence he's had since he's come in, you know, I'm quite impressed. It seems a lot better than last season. Last season was just like here and there, hit and miss. You know, um, it'd be nice to also see like uh, what North Face collaborations they've got as well. Looking forward to that as well. Um, I think I forgot a few things. Tell you what, let's go to Supreme League News because they did put something else as well. So you've also got the box logos as well. So that's your... Box logo crew next as well. So you've got your green, obviously, which is okay. Not really the best. Then that's the different collections or different colors better yet. So my preferred ones are the black or the brown, always. And then you've also got other different colors as well. I think the least sorted one is probably going to be the zebra pattern one. Why would you want to buy a zebra box logo? You only buy it because you couldn't buy the other ones. You know what, right? So um, I do implore Supreme that they do try and, you know, um, do what they've done last time with the box logo release where you had to draw a circle, I think it was. That did get rid of a lot of bots. So it would be nice to see them do that as well because a lot of people wait all season to get bot, sorry, to get like box logos. So it would be nice. It's a little Christmas present to get a box logo. Is there anything else which they put on here which they didn't put? Now, I'll do the accessory one um, in a couple of uh, minutes. So, guys, make sure you come back for the accessory video as well. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless them. Our peace. Great. Oh, that didn't stop and stop.